All right, everyone, buckle up. <laughs> this is Across the Spider-Verse. New trailer, June 2nd. That's way too long. All right. I want this to come out right now. Let's look at this frame by frame. This is an analysis. And right off the bat, you can already look at a symmetry. I love the simplified silhouette there. We are finishing semesters at school, and I've been critiquing about silhouette and asymmetry all the time. Look at that. Different hand poses. I mean, you know, you can always go in there on every frame and check things out and make things better. Look at that. Everything has a new awesome pose. Just a little switch at the end into this. So great. Of course, style-wise, this is awesome. Clean silhouette again. Beautiful lines there. Come on. But a lot of this trailer is going to be me framing through things because what is going on? I have to admit, I'm not going to be identifying each Spider-Man character by name because I'm not that well-versed. Comment, by the way, I would love this. I would love this comment section to be filled with this guy is this, this character is this. It would be awesome. Little little uh, guide into what is going on. All right, official trailer. Let's scrub through here. What I love about this too is that besides all of this here, which is awesome, that it starts with this. It's a very calm section. And there's not that much to go on if you're if you're looking for like a crazy body mechanics uh, review because that's happening at the end here. But if you look at this, you still have a lot of details in her dialogue as she moves her head, even though you might think maybe with on twos it's more simplified. But it's not. And I love this too because it's she is more reserved. She's kind of, you know, she doesn't want to intrude too much. And I love this too that he is kind of overtaking her. She's overlapping over her. He's got that broad triangle, like, you know, don't talk to me. I'm in my headspace, you know, blah, blah, blah. While well, she is small in frame, hands in front of it, smaller silhouette, kind of leaning away a little bit. Just that in terms of composition is great. So just that alone, think about if you have two characters, it doesn't have to be. You know, the usual two arm flailing around, big broad acting. Sometimes you just want to have almost a static pose. I mean, look at this here. I love this, that it just disappears into that. But the general thing is smaller silhouette behind the character, leaning away. All these characters like, come on. Like, you know, in terms of the the strength and the headspace of, of each character. It's great stuff. And then you get a little bit of... And active. to me, like, I prefer something like this, where actually you don't see the face and you can do something through shoulders. So you can have a little accent in the hand here instead of, like I said before, like the broad W overacted arm gesture stuff. This is very small. I'm going to scrub through this, but it's great. It's really, really nice and subtle. I love her slow gate getting into the light. Look at that. Just silhouette work. So great. Love this view. I mean, this trailer. Come on. There's so many moments. I know it's going to cut into highlights, but I just love the render. And just generally, I love this. I love that they are framed within that. And all those lines are organic. You know, nothing feels clean in CG. That's for me half the fun of, of, of these movies. So great. There we're getting into previous shots, which makes me want to watch the movie again. Little cameo there. Oh, there's so many moments there. That was such a great moment in the movie. There's this one scene. I love how he's uh, behind there. I'm assuming if you're watching this that you've seen the movie. If not, please go watch the movie. Again, asymmetry and the posing. Great character designs. Little small little touches and everything. Love stuff like that. So great. Oh, this was such a great moment. This, this to this day is such an awesome frame. I so love it. Let's go back. This is from the older part, but great poses. Again, great. It's asymmetry. I love that the colors create your silhouette in there. Because it's in front of the body. It's going to be hard to do this, and especially with a suit that has very similar colors. This is definitely going to help. Love this. Actually, I was just commenting yesterday on Twitter about vehicle animation. Not that this car is driving, but look at the just enough weight. I would highly recommend that you don't just animate characters but you do animate props like this and also props interacting with this. You know what I mean? Like showing the sense of weight of, if you had like, whatever, a baseball <laughs> hitting this and going back, that time would be totally different than this massive vehicle. And you still have an influence of him, that outside force that pushes this down. 
highly recommend this that you practice animating something like this. Or even imagine you have, I don't know, goopy water, and then you got pieces floating in there and a character jumping, waiting, taking steps, jumping over. So you have to animate how this character lands. This goes into the water, bobs back up. But even when you're done, right? Even when the character is now on something like this, this would still have some residual ring, ring, some bobbing back and forth. Practice that stuff. Practice animating, not just characters. Can you make this look heavy? Does this feel look like a human landing on metal? Can you do something on like, maybe this is a bed with a really soft mattress. Can you, can you animate it so it feels like a soft mattress? Highly recommend this. Yeah, yeah, still love this. So great, love all those designs. It just never gets old. And now that I just got a new projector and a 4K player, I gotta get that, that movie on the disc. I have it streaming, but I need to get this on the disc. Anyway, love these scenes. I love this in the first movie when you got the door and he's tied up and then dad is standing there. Oh, so good. It's just so good. All right, this is new footage though. Not yet frame by frame, finding out what Spider-Man we have. But the other thing that I love about this is the um, interaction with clothing. Him, the hoodie and the jackets, even in the first movie, there's a lot of stuff in there. There's so much you can do with this. Again, asymmetry, even if it's just a little bit, poses are different on the fingers, the hands. You're seeing the ending here, spoiler of the first one. Again, clothing, it's just, it just feels it's just tricky because clothing is that pain to animate and then go back and forth with sim and everything. But a lot of times characters feel like they just have like a spandex suit because nothing is really interacting. They don't they don't use like pop up the color or or if it's cold, they put the you know the, the jacket or a coat in front of them. There's so much you could do in terms of acting, but it's just a pain to implement. Yeah, but we're getting into more new footage. Okay, I'm gonna go frame by frame. So if this is gonna get super weird. But I want to take a look at a cool suit. Stuff is upside down though. <laughs> Again, I, if, if you can make a list of who is who, I would love to see that. Because I saw Spider-Man 4, PS4 game. Spider-Man 4, PS4 game. No, that sounds or looks very familiar. Awesome. Look at all of these. I have no idea. I have no idea what this is. Let me know. There is some bonkers stuff. What is this? I watched the trailer once, just quickly, and there's so much to look at, and I did not look at. I didn't even notice this. So great. Got a cop Spider-Man. I saw a Spider-Man with a bat. Is that MJ? What? There's a character here. Awesome. I'm twisting my head around. What is going on over there? All right. Look at that. There's so many cool suits. But there was one with a bag. Wasn't there a mom with a bag? What is this one? That's cool. I know this is probably annoying for everyone watching this, but I'm going twisting my head. This is awesome. I love this guy. This one. Oh, I saw this one. What the hell? This is werewolf Spider-Man. What is going on here? Cool. Frame by frame. Nice, nice design. Come on. Ah, I know there are more shots, but this is so crazy. It's cool. Cool designs, cool lighting, cool world. Come on. Little things like that. Actually, today I was just finishing up my animation mentor um, class, and I was talking about exactly this. During the break, do exactly this. How long is this shot? This is from frame 21, 31 to 2174, so what, 40 frames or something ish? A head turn. Practice that. It's actually great too when you have two characters. You know, if you feel like a head turn, 40 frames, that's boring. Okay, then let's add two characters, different personalities, different type of look, different attitude. You got your asymmetry in the face, you got the little line of action in there, the opening of this, right? Same thing with him. Slightly open there, asymmetry in the face, but the timing of the of the turns is different. But you know, you might go with the head turns boring. Trust me, you got to practice head turns, blinks, you know, arm gesture, a sit down. Do like, I think I said that in the previous clip, but imagine you're doing all these clips separately. One or two seconds, three seconds. These are all separate blocks that you're practicing. And then you get an actual shot, five to seven seconds. And now you take all of these and you start building your shot and adding things. And it's not overwhelming because 
You've done all of this. You know how you've done this. Now it's just about assembling those blocks and making one bigger shop. But nothing feels overwhelming because you've done these separate actions uh, before. Wait. Okay, hold on. Rotate, doesn't matter. Video, rotate. Is that a, is that a baby carriage? Is he a dad? That's awesome. Okay, I love it. Hold on, let me go back. Uh, rotate and rotate again. Not to watch this whole thing upside down, but. All right, I like that. I love his outfit. So great too. This could be, if you don't want to rip off Spider-Man and do your own practice stuff, which I'm talking for myself, by the way, I would do something which I'm going to say, I'm, I am going to do this, where a character has magnetic gloves. You know, you can do something cool where it's over here with some cool tech stuff you can animate by hands. And then this could be like a bigger glove that goes on the metal beam. But then you can do something like this where the character is upside down and does that. Because that's a pain too. Because, you know, you got your root, you got your pivot over here, but now you got to switch everything to this. And that's going to be your pendulum style. That's going to be the pivot. But it also allows for some fun animation with stuff hanging upside down. Love that drag, love that face. Good pose. Let me just go back. I want to see something. Yeah, look at that. You can see how the hand is flat. And as the weight comes down, you can see how the wrist opens up here. Yeah, that's great. That's my main thing when I do analyses uh, like this. You can like drag here, nice grouping of the fingers. Uh, is to not take this and copy this, but like, what is the idea? The idea is that someone is upside down, uses something either you hold on to, it could be a gymnast, could be whatever, an action person, this could be a you know, magnetic glove, whatever it is. But it's about someone hanging and swinging upside down and doing this. That's the idea. Now take this and add your own spin to it, and then it's your new shot, but with those principles applied. That I would probably not do just because I love this already with, with the hair. Because this could almost be, you know, the way they sit. I know this gives it away that it's upside down, but I love this extra cue. And especially when she leans over, that it bobbles because gravity goes this way. But again, fun. Could you do something like that in a different way that doesn't rip off Spider-Man? I'm sure there are lots of ways. Okay. Is that a bike? <laughs> what is this? I love all of this. I love it so much. This is a fantastic design. Holy macro. All I want to do is just curse throughout this whole trail when I watch this. So cool. Come on. It's so cool. I know it's going to be super boring just me going so cool for the last 10 minutes, but come on. What is this? What is this character? Oh. Such a pain to animate. Such a pain to animate. <laughs> I see love and pain throughout. Of course, this is going to be great. Going frame by frame. Oh, do we get it? Oh, look at that. Cool design. This is like every frame of painting. Again, talked about each frame being a different finger pose and adjusting this. That's I talked about that in the Q&A Q &A as well. Like imagine you're in your shot like this, right? Okay, action shot, we're done. But now you got to go and track arcs. For your arms, knees, elbows, on a closer view, the nose, just arcs and everything. Once you're done, every frame you look at silhouette. Does this have a nice break of the arm? Do we understand the structure? As you go forward, you can see this here. Is the line, are there any tangents? Yes or no? You take care of each finger pose, each frame. Like is each frame sculpted out? I know this is a lot of time and you don't always have time, especially on productions. This is all different, but I love this face. But that's just the extra, extra type of love that you can put into a shot if you have the time, of course. Look at that flair. Just the artistry in this is just bonkers to me. Hold on, let me watch this in real time here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. This is how much I'm focused on posing, but it's going through. <laughs> oh, so cool. Vehicle animation again. So cool. Little extra finger on there for the for the brakes and the changing. It's great. I love that right at the end we still have a view of the eye. It's not completely covered. Nice lighting too here. Ah, come on. Cool, cool, cool. Briella 11. No idea. Oh, that must be this guy. Must be that guy. I have no idea. I should know. Must be, huh? The same cheekbones there. He's watching. Yeah, he's mad. Something happened. <laughs> cool hand pose. Come on. 
There's nothing like cool hand poses. Oh, such a great design. She looks so fantastic. Come on. Oh. It really is ridiculous how much I love the look of, of this movie. All right, all right, all right. Is he holding a baby? Is that a hand? Wait, do we have a baby? <laughs> it is a baby. It is a baby. Cool. So cool. Definitely good staging at the end. Uh, I'm just not going to say who, but lots of notes some things I'm seeing where just characters are overlapped and just it's just not clear. You gotta have clarity in your frame at all times, especially especially when stuff is really busy. Oh, love this too. See, this to me is much more impactful than you have just the tenderness. You know, it's the mom. Come on, I'm a parent. Like you just wanna. It's different when you have an older. Like I have an older son as well. Like how you how you are towards an older person versus like my ten year old, and and it's just the, the show of affection. You know, how do they react to that? Just I love stuff like that. That to me, again, just to go back, that to me is so much more interesting to watch then you know again she will be out w pose hey 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 <laughs> not that you would do that in the first place in this shot it wouldn't be appropriate anyway but little head accents even that little move at the end there that's another note that i give a lot that you want to be careful about you don't want to have just the jaw opening up and down and nothing else happening it just feels super stiff and it's so isolated so when you got this you got that little the rhythm like you know, the, the lazy thing would be which trust me i do this all the time you got your wave right whatever your of your audio and the ups and downs and the energy i mimic this in the head and the chest same thing it's almost like the same curve and then you start delete delete minimize so that you have your your peaks and valleys but they match the energy and the delivery of the audio and then you tweak it again like do you want to have a head turn before the audio comes in or the audio and then the head tilt do you mean like you you definitely want to move this for contrast and just for more interest. But as a starting point, I would highly recommend to do stuff like that. Have your head go up and down. Obviously, you add you know, different complications and complexities in your axes, but don't just have a head with no movement, just the jaw up and down. Even something like that, just a little. And this could be a, this could be a nod for like reaffirming something, for an accent, for, for making a point, for disappointment. So much you can do. And this is again where I will lose the next batch of uh, viewers that might still be around. I want to go through this and look at those suits. The other thing too is imagine you have a shot like this, right? <laughs> what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know, 20, 20 ish. They all need a different pose and they all need to move at a different rate so that there's no accidental sinking of movements like arms go down, arms go down, arms go down at the same time. Such a pain. What is this? That's cool. That's cool. Cool pose, cool designs. Like, what is going on in this movie? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember they all, all bump into each other. That's some bonkers interaction. <laughs> Oh, I love smear frames. That was cracked me up. Okay, looks familiar. Is that from the game again? I just sadly don't know enough. Look at these guys. So many people. What is going on? Some cool poses and characters. And suits. <laughs> that guy's awesome. What is that? Wait, what is... Oh, that's a jack. It's going to be what? Is that a smear frame? Is that a second head? What is going on here? Cool stuff, though. Look at this. Just going back to animation. Oh, shoo, puts this right in front of it. He wants to grab it. Look at that. Fantastic pose. Come on. Into that. Just the line of action in all of this. And then slide through that. <sighs> that's cool. That's a cool suit. Oh, man. This is so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go through it again, this guy below here. And go frame by frame again by myself. I don't wanna bore people with everything. So cool. This guy has the best hand poses. No mask. Hold on, watch this. Oh, it's great. It's fast, there's a lot of stuff going on. But you feel that. This into that, shoulders up, it's great. So much crazy stuff in here. Sorry, I have to do this again. 
actually to chapters and go, all right, skip this. I'm going through this frame by frame. Wait, what is this? Uh, oh. Ooh, the bag man is back. Nice, nice pose there. Still showing things in between for silhouettes. Yeah, yeah. So cool. Yes. <laughs> so many <laughs> insane designs. I love it. Hold on. This guy get back. Love her too. Her design is great. This must be also cool. Just in terms of mechanics, you're holding on to something and then you do another one. And now this might pull the body forward and it snaps your body out for another curve. I don't know. This to me sounds all really cool to animate. Love it. I mean, with this kind of art style and lighting and everything, it's really just the game of silhouette at all times. Come on. What is going on? So much work. Okay, okay. I love Spider-Man. Don't get me wrong, but I also love Batman. And I see something like this and go, please, someone make a Batman movie like this. It's so cool. There is so much stuff going on here. Holy macro. Look at these. Look at these changes of the colors and textures. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm pointing out the obvious. I'm just, I just love it. I love the creativity. The look of this. Let's play this in real time. Whoa, I love the long hang time. Let's go back. Let's look at animation. Come on, look at this. Love this here. The hold. That reads. Because the thing too is, with so much stuff going on, not just in terms of speed, but also just visually, like it's all like, it, you know, it's, it grabs your attention everywhere. You want to be bold. With your really big poses and Hell timing, so great. Love that, how long he holds this while it continues, because he's pulling him forward. So the body's going to snap back. It's great. Bonkers, absolutely bonkers. <laughs> Even less time to look back. Love it. That's a crazy time frame. Like what is going on in here? Crazy colors. Look at this here. So crazy, all of this. It's like such a frame by frame art directed shot or trailer or movie. And that's it. Holy macro. Okay, not gonna lie, I would have loved to see more. They were teasing about different art styles. I would have loved to see like how far do they go. It's a good reveal of lots of characters. I would have loved to see like, the different worlds, but in a way, don't want to spoil too much. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. I mean, it's this is absolutely bonkers. All that stuff here. I really can't wait to watch this. Everyone at Sony, you are blowing people's socks off. What is this? June? June 2nd. Yeah, it's going to be a long couple months. What is this? Like five, six months? <gasps> oh, but it's awesome. All right. Well, that's it. Uh, you have suffered through my frame by frame gushing of everything. And if you want some normal, quote unquote, normal shots where there's less crazy town, I recommend you watch this. And after that, you watch the whole movie again, because it's awesome. I think that's gonna be my uh, next week's homework, just going through all these again. I'm still uh, planning on doing a so good series on this, because I have a bunch of notes I've never did, because it takes forever. But I do wanna talk about, not just the technical aspect of Smear Frames animation stuff, but there's a lot of, just in terms of acting, there's so many great moments in this. But anyway, let's leave it at that. I'm pumped, this is gonna be awesome. I love it. Can't wait for June.